Hi, it's Jamie with UK Extension and we're talking about common houseplant pests. In this case, we're talking about scale. Scale is one of the more commonly encountered pests of indoor houseplants. And let's talk about that for a minute because there are many scale insects. When we say scale, we mean scale insects. There are many of them out there. They fall into soft-bodied and hard-bodied groups. The soft-bodied ones, which are usually not the ones attacking houseplants, are fairly easy to control. The hard body ones are challenging. So what these scale insects are, are little tiny insects that park themselves on the surface of a plant. Usually the lower stem or some of the branches, you can have them on the bottom leaf surface of ferns and some other things as well. But some of the more common house plant ones, plant ones resemble little turtle shells, little hard bumps stuck to the stem. They can be black, they can be brown, white, tan, lots of different colors depending on the species. And if you take your thumbnail, they just kind of pop right off. But they're very difficult to control, and here is why. Their life cycle works like this. Once they're at adulthood, they park on the plant, and they form that little shell. That shell actually gets sealed around them with a layer of waxy substance that makes it nearly impermeable to any kind of control method we might approach other than physical removal. So the females stay there under the shell protected and usually once a year, but with house plants it can be multiple generations a year, they will have eggs and offspring. Those are called the crawler stage. This is the only stage of this insect that's moving around the pest or the plant is soft-bodied and fairly easy to control. The problem is finding out when they're crawling because it's not something you're going to notice with the naked eye. So that can be very challenging. The key to keeping scale under control is A, look at every plant you purchase and make sure it's free of scale or other pests before you bring it into the home. Just keeping it out is the easiest way. But if you bump them outdoors or you have lots of plants, you're going to see scale eventually. So if you catch it early when there's just a few of them, it's simple to remove. You can use your thumbnail, you can scrape them off, you can whatever Q-tip and alcohol like we do with mealybugs works fairly well to remove them. That works great if you've got 100 scale. It doesn't work so great if you've got 10,000 scale. And I've said this several times and people just gasp, but if you're severely infested with scale, it's gonna be very difficult to win that battle, particularly if the plant's indoors. And this is one of those situations if you have a collection of plants to just think about throwing the plant away. It may be the shortest term fix and the one that's not gonna drive you insane for month after month after month when you don't succeed 100% with your efforts. So scale, widely varied, but you're monitoring for usually little raised bumps. They can look like part of the plant. They can look like a distinct separate bump, and they're often kind of clustered together where you find one, you may find several. So the key to all of these plant pest management videos is look at your plants carefully, inspect them thoroughly. This doesn't matter if you have landscape plants like trees and shrubs or stuff in the vegetable garden. If you're not spending time with them, looking at them really closely, on a weekly basis, you're going to miss all of these things when they could be controlled easily. So, Jamie Dockery talking about scale on houseplants. We have more information in other videos and things related to this topic and other insects. So, I hope this has been helpful and may help you in managing your future scale problems.